This is a video of three experimental design science GED questions. Let's jump right into it with one example here. A scientist wants to improve the growth of their plants. They suspect that changing the fertilizer would increase the growth. They get three new kinds of fertilizer and 100 plants. They divide the plants into groups of 25. So you can imagine there's a farmer, he is growing crops, and um, someone comes to him and says, hey, I have these three different fertilizers. They're going to work much better than what you've been doing in the past. This is a smart farmer. And so he says, well, I'm going to do an experiment to make sure that it's no, that there aren't, that these fertilizers um, are in fact better than not using a fertilizer. And so in order to make sure that the experiment is fair, the farmer needs to control or have some constants in the experiment, things that aren't changing. So here's a few things that shouldn't change. It should be the same soil, the same light, the same amount of water, and of course the same type of plant. And so the independent variable, which is what they're going to ask you on the GED, and the dependent variable, these two things are very important and are asked frequently on the GED, um, the independent variable is what the scientist is testing or changing. And in this case, it is the type of fertilizer. In this case, we're just calling them fertilizer A, B, and C. The dependent variable is how the plants respond, typically the growth of the plant. Uh, could be measured as how healthy it is, how much fruit it's producing, um, lots of ways of measuring that. So another aspect of the experiment is called the control group which again, you need to compare it to something to know that it's, uh, these fertilizers are better than um, not using fertilizers. So the control group is plants receiving no fertilizer. All right, so that's this group here. That's called the control group. The experimental group or experimental groups would be the plants receiving different fertilizers, okay? So let's define Let's define some of these terms. The common vocabulary here. So independent variable is the part of the experiment that is changed or manipulated by the scientists so that results can be compared. It's often called like the you change it or you compare it variable or the manipulated variable. The dependent variable is the part of the experiment that responds to the independent variable. So I often call it the you measure it or you count it variable or the responding variable. Um, constants or controlled variables. So this is always uh, a point of confusion for people. Um, we have these controlled variables and then the control. So the controlled variables are aspects of the experiments that could change. They have the ability to change, but they should not change in order for it to be a fair experiment. Okay, so in the previous one, you want to make sure that they're all receiving the same amount of water, for example. The control is used for comparison to see the effect of the independent variable. Um, it's, it's typically a noun or a thing, and it, it's also known as a placebo in an experiment involving animals. Let's do another experiment. A scientist claims to have developed a new medicine to reduce headache pain. They get 100 people with headaches. Every person is told that they will either receive the new medicine or a pill with nothing in it. They will not know which type of pill they will get. Over the course of taking the medicine, their symptoms are recorded. So what is the independent variable in this experiment? Um, it is the headache medicine and the pill with nothing in it, okay? It's, that is what the scientists or scientists are comparing here. The dependent variable, what they're gonna be measuring is the patient's symptoms. What needs to be controlled or held constant throughout um, this experiment would be the patient characteristics in the process. So they need to make sure that they are, you know, Comparing people who are the same age, the same gender, um, looking at other symptoms or um, maybe issues that they might have, and then comparing those all um, with, e with each other. The control here 
is the placebo. It's the pill with nothing in it. And the reason why you do this is that, you know, placebo or the power of suggestion of just taking a pill that you think might make your headache go away often is enough to make your headache go away. So that's why you have to have a control. All right, here's the third one. A driver wants to see if they can get better gas mileage in their car if they buy the more expensive gas. Their local gas station has three different types of unleaded fuel. So in this case, what is the independent variable? What is the scientist trying to uh, compare in this experiment? It is the type of fuel, which is typically actually the octane level. That's what um, you're paying for. Um, what is the dependent variable in this experiment? So what would they be measuring? What would they be counting um, after they put different types of fuel in the car? Well, they would be looking at essentially how far they can go on a gallon, the gas mileage or miles per gallon. Okay, um, what would the controlled or constant variables be? Well, you want to make sure that you're using the same car, the same route, the same speed. You know, the, the type of surface that you're driving on can affect your gas mileage. If you're going uphill or downhill, you're, you know, if you're going really fast or really slow, all of those things need to be the same from one type of gas to the next. So what would the control be in this uh, experiment? What well, would be like the normal gas type? Um, because this person wants to see if buying the more expensive gas um, is going to make it so that they can go farther on a gallon of gas. And so let me just compare here the controlled variables versus the control because this is often again a point of confusion for students. So controlled variables are aka also known as constants and they should stay the same. Controlled is used as a verb or an adjective in this case versus the control over here is used for comparison. It is also a noun, again also known as a placebo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you found it valuable and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these. Visit the link below to passthegd.org to see more videos and learning opportunities that will help you get the highest passing score on the GED. And good luck.